Guangzhou Medical University is located in the lively city of Guangzhou, the south gate of China with economic reform and opening to the outside world in full swing. Founded in 1958, Guangzhou Medical University has undergone 52 years of endeavor, cultivated numerous medical professionals and made a positive contribution to the course of medical education in Guangdong province and in China as a whole. Today, GMU is seeking and exploring new ways to strengthen the cooperation with universities all over the world. And GMU is authorized to enroll international students since 2010. We are also proud to announce that clinical medicine as a specialty has been empowered to enroll the top-notch undergraduates in China's National University entrance examination. Taking all these as starting points for further progress, Guangzhou Medical University is advancing boldly, braving the wind and the waves, sailing towards the bright future. The history of Guangzhou Medical University can be traced back to 1958, when the first 298 freshmen were enrolled by the university and Zhu Guang, the mayor of Guangzhou, became the first president of GMU. Guangzhou Medical University has once boasted such famous surgical experts as Wang Huaile, a great master and first level professor, gynecological and obstetrical expert Liang Yiwen, one of the three great founders in gynecology and obstetrics, First level professor and famous medical expert Yao Bicheng. First level professor and famous surgical expert Huang Rongzeng. And first level professor and famous pediatric expert Zhang Mengshi. With this good momentum of development, GMU has attractive, talented people from different parts of the country. The teaching staff of the university consists of one academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, 44 doctoral tutors and 531 graduate student tutors. In addition, a number of overseas experts and scholars has also been engaged by the university, including Chinese-American scientist Ye Wai Ken, nominated for Nobel Prize twice and known as Father of Jin. With 50 years of serious labor and hard working, the teaching and administrative staff in GMU have trained and fostered numerous medical workers and professionals who, living up to the expectations of the university, have enlarged the horizon of medical development and are now working in different parts of China and the world, including Guangzhou City, Guangdong Province, Hong Kong, Macau, and many other places. They are working in both cities and rural areas, pursuing either medical careers or doing administrative work. Up till now, tens of thousands of students have graduated from GMU and become the pillar of the society. For the past 50 odd years, Guangzhou Medical University has developed its own unique university spirit and establish an educational model characterized by university spirit and medical humanism. The university has spared no effort to create a healthy and upbeat campus culture. For example, the university hosts a series of activities annually, such as Campus Scientific and Technological Culture and Arts Festival, Hospital Culture Arts Festival, Academician Forum, and GMU Academic Lectures. Through unyielding quest, GMU has developed its distinct cultural and ethical wealth, the spirit of GMU, starting undertakings with efforts, being down to earth, forging ahead with a pioneering spirit, has encouraged diligent and enterprising people of GMU to overcome all the difficulties and make fruitful achievements. The Nansan style was dedicating, pioneering, hardworking and sociable as its core, gained new interpretations during the fighting against SARS, and thus shaped the anti-SARS spirit, characterized by facing the danger fearlessly, seeking truth from the facts 
and dedicating to one's duty selflessly. Nowadays, the motto of the university attaches importance to virtue for self-cultivation. Study extensively for further development has become the belief deeply rooted in the minds of all students and handed down from one generation to another. The GMU spirits, with its unbroken continuity, represent the cultural brilliance of GMU as well as the achievements made by GMU, which have become the powerful driving force for the university to develop and move toward the world. GMU now consists of four campuses, with modern buildings and green trees exuding modern flavor everywhere. The new campus, with an area of 100 hectares, will be constructed in Panyu District with an investment of 1.5 billion RMB, facing the Guangzhou University town across the river. Center on the goal of constructing a teaching and research oriented medical institution, the executives of the university look far ahead and aim high, drawing up a series of documents and making lots of rules and regulations which ensure the excellency of teaching and learning, promote educational reform, and place the excellent resources on the front line of teaching. Venerable academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, as well as highly cultural and learning master teachers, all take part in teaching. With skill and patience, giving systematic guidance and imparting all their knowledge to the students. The university boasts the first academician in the medical and health care system in Guangdong province. Also, it is the first municipal higher education body authorized to come for a doctor's degree. GMU has established a comprehensive high-level educational system with post-doctors, doctors, masters, bachelors, and adult education all included. GMU takes pride in offering high-quality curricula. By 2008, the undergraduate specialties offered by the university have increased to 15 programs, namely clinical medicine, medical laboratory, medical imaging, nursing, anesthesiology, auto medicine, preventive medicine, pharmacy, rehabilitation therapy, health administration, biomedical engineering, applied psychology, biotechnology, Western Medicine in Clinical Medicine and Law. Guangzhou Medical University has eight research institutes, namely the Research Institute of Respiratory Diseases, the Venom Research Institute, the Neuroscience Institute, the Chemical Carcinogenesis Research Institute, the Tumor Research Institute, the Research Institute of Humanities and Social Sciences, the Gynecology and Obstetrics Research Institute and the Cardiovascular Diseases Research Institute. Besides, the Research Institute of Respiratory Diseases is the only state key laboratory in Guangdong Provincial Universities. In addition, the Laboratory of Neurogenetics and Iron Channelopathy is a key laboratory co-established by Guangdong Province and the Ministry of Education. In recent years, the university undertakes several major scientific research projects, such as National 973 Project and A63 Project. Meanwhile, many academic papers of high quality have been published in world-famous magazines like Nature Medicine and the Lancet. Guangzhou Medical University also sponsors several medical journals, including Journal of Guangzhou Medical University, Journal of Modern Clinical Medical Bioengineering, Chinese Journal of Joint Surgery, Chinese Journal of Thrombosis and Homeostasis, Chest, and J 
the rapid diseases. In 2007, Guangzhou Medical University was acclaimed as being excellent in the assessment of undergraduate teaching, which means that the emphasis laid by the university on the quality of undergraduate teaching has been approved by the Ministry of Education, and which opens a new chapter for the development and teaching of the university. With a broad horizon. Guangzhou Medical University today has initiated cooperative education and academic exchanges with many research institutes and institutions of higher education all over the world, including University of Edinburgh, Stanford University, California State University, Columbia University, New England Medical Center, and the U.S. National Research Center of Toxicology. French University of Western Brittany, Loyal University of General Practitioners, the University of Hong Kong, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and Taiwan Chengshan Medical University. After half a century's efforts and the dedicated teaching and learning made by generations of teachers and students. GMU is keeping pace with the times. The teaching and administrative staff are pioneering and enterprising. The strategy of integrating a affiliated hospital has pointed out the orientation for the further development of all the affiliated hospitals of Guangzhou Medical University. Nowadays, Guangzhou Medical University has eight directly affiliated hospitals. Among which, the first affiliated hospital, the second affiliated hospital, and the third affiliated hospital are three comprehensive top-level hospitals: the Affiliated Tumor Hospital and the Yangcheng Hospital, which specializes in oral medicine, are both equipped with excellent facilities. Li Wan Hospital is a comprehensive one that is characterized by general practice and community medicine. Gangwan Hospital is another comprehensive hospital, featured by minimally invasive surgery and rehabilitation therapy. The fourth affiliated hospital, which is located in the Guangzhou Ancient Games Town, is under construction now. Besides, Guangzhou Medical University has ten other non-directly affiliated hospitals. Over the years. Guangzhou Medical University attaches great importance to the internal construction of all the affiliated hospitals and integrates resources so as to improve the competitiveness of hospitals. The medical workers in GMU keep firmly in mind the mission to heal the sick and rescue the dying. The commendable spirit was especially embodied in 2003 when SARS raged. At the critical moment. When fighting against SARS, led by Zhong Nanshan, the medical workers and GMU fearlessly faced the danger of losing their lives at any time, and did their job meticulously and selflessly, devoting greatly to preventing and curing SARS, and thus winning the approval from such national leaders of China as Hu Jintao, Wang Jiabao, Zheng Qinghong, Wu Yi, etc. GMU and Zhong Nanshan won grand recognition. From both at home and abroad, the campus of GMU is full of dynamic and vigor. The vitality and energy of students can be seen everywhere. And all the staffs and students of the GMU share a pioneering spirit and emancipating mind. They will forge ahead bravely by bearing in mind the scientific outlook of the development, grasping golden opportunities, and acting on the motto: attach importance to virtue for self-cultivation, study extensively for further development.